Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello, welcome. So far you have seen many of the concepts and some of the hazard identification techniques. Today I will discuss those concepts and techniques. I can say that you are revisiting uh, some of the things what you have learnt. So today's topic is application of hazard identification techniques. The contents today will be pressure tank example. So, already I have explained what is pressure tank example. That example again will uh, we will revisit. Then with reference to that pressure tank system, we will show you, we will see that the system breakdown structure particularly uh, it will be a um, hardware based structure then hazard triangle, then safety ontology, then after safety ontology from on safety ontology several accidents paths can be generated, then the preliminary hazard list, preliminary hazard analysis, hazard, FEMA, FMEA all those we reference to pressure tank uh, example. Please note that, uh, that it is not the exhaustive uh, explanation. It is rather a uh, some systematic way of doing uh, hazard identification that is what we will be discussing now. Maybe uh, you can find out some, um, some more aspects particularly related to hazard identification, but nevertheless this, this uh, lecture will give you or will clarify you if you have some doubt earlier uh, with respect to the different concepts. So, <coughs> I let me re re revisit again this system you know here what happened one is the tank and the purpose of this tank is to store gas which will be pressurized to certain design intent. And they <coughs> whether that uh, particular uh, pressure is attained or not or more pressure if it is attained then what will happen. So, those things are basically monitored and uh, activated or other, other way I can say rectified using alarm, pressure gauge, relief valve as well and operator's help. But the tank is pressurized by gas and the gas is pumped to the tank with the help of a pump which is actuated by another uh, mechanism which is basically timer and the electrical circuit. So, this is what is explained here. The cycle begins with zero gas in the tank and then pumping starts with the timer set to a particular time. The timer is set in such a manner that the desired pressure is attained inside the tank and after that what will happen timer automatically disconnect the contact and then pump will be disconnected from the power and pump ceases to operate. So, after that what happened the discharge valve will open and, and the gas will go to the utility equipment and that for simplicity that complete discharge is considered. In between what can what are the different things that can happen are one is that timer will fail, maybe that connect to pump will be more uh, connect uh, uh, electricity to pump will be more than the desired time, pump will overrun, pump overrun leads to over pressure, under over pressure condition alarm may work, may not work, if alarm work operator may come and see the pressure gauge or may, may be delayed, so many things can happen which are all negative things. Uh, or positive things, but mostly we will be concentrating on the negative things. Okay. 
So, this is what we have already discussed and you know this. Then with reference to this system, what I have done, I said that this vessel tank system has storage system, another one is pumping system or supply system I can say supply of gas. So, then in the storage system pressure tank is one, then pressure gauge, relief valve, discharge valve, alarm, these are the, these are the components uh, for the pressure storage system. Pumping system, pump is their timer and the electric circuit. Obviously, the timer can be within the circuit, but timer is a special one, so we kept it separately. And then circuit the wire, switch, contact, power supply. So, what I mean, we, we mean to say that if we consider this very simple system as like a pressure tank, so your work is basically first break down to all the component level and if required sometimes to the parts level also. So, that you will understand the system and its function. This breakdown is required because you will be able to understand the function of each of the component and how the resultant all the components will create the uh, that storing system that is the what is the sub function here function here storing of gas how what is the sub function here pumping of gas to the tank and the overall this is basically that creating a uh, pressure tank um, a tank filled with uh, gas of desired pressure. So, for larger system it will be large. Now, hazard triangle, what are the elements in hazard triangle? There will be hazardous elements or component of hazardous triangle, hazardous element, then your initiative mechanism and target and threat. With reference to this pressure tank, pressure tank, gas, wire, power supply, operator, pump, gauge, relief valve, discharge valve, all, all one way or other can, can create some, can be thought of the source of hazard. So, they are either hardware or, or the energy sources. So, when we talk about hazardous elements, it can be either hardware or the software or the humanware or the energy sources okay, or some others which are not uh, combined there. So, for example, pressure tank is a hazard element because the tank itself can, can wear, have wear and tear and finally, there can be leakage or rupture of tank also. So, that is why this is the source. Now, initiating mechanism for tank case tank rupture may take place. Now, over pressure inside the tank, uninsulated wire, power supply, operator failure, gas leak, drive system failure, control valve failure, malfunctioning pressure gauge, relief valve malfunction, alarm malfunction, malfunctioning of discharge valve, operator. So, many, many events in between that can take place which alone or in combination can lead to explosion, fire, property damage, loss of equipment, loss of production, fatality and other things. So, these are target and threat. So, with reference to pressure tank system, this is the hazard triangle and the concept of hazard triangle I have already given you and I hope that uh, here uh, it is it, uh, you get something more means it is revisited. Now, then <coughs> then we go for the ontology part. What ontology? The same hazard, hazard triangle we have used hazard element initiated by initiative mechanism these are the initiative mechanism we have seen earlier and and then there will be ex, ex, accident related to explosion, leakage, fire all those things. So, okay. So, we may not consider leakage, when leakage may not uh, be, uh, may lead to fire and explosion. So, leakage we have written here gas leak. Okay, so, let explosion and fire for the time being. Also, sometimes you may say tank rupture is the accident. So, that we are talking considering under explosion. So, <coughs> then the accident should not happen if the initiating mechanisms and the will not align to that the, the, that means the accident path is not created. 
So, in order to break the accident path, I told that there will be risk control system. So, here inspection maintenance, operating procedure, installation alarm, staff competence, this may be few of the risk control system and we should work then may be some, some may be the initiative mechanisms uh, will not uh, ultimately occur and uh, ultimate resulting accident will not take place. Okay. So, then we, if accident take place what will happen there will be threat like fatality property damage and all those threats are there. These threats Sometimes you under in hazard triangle explosion fire also we brought under target and threat, but in the accident path we what is the additional thing we are trying to tell that that you just find out a particular type of accident what is happening there. So, there is no hard and fast rule that uh, you, you cannot say tank rupture is an accident. If tank rupture is an accident you can write tank rupture accident, but again explosion also uh, it can be an accident that scene. So, that means it is a very flexible uh, boundary. So, initiating mechanism the last one sometimes we are telling that the it is the accident, but uh, whatever may be the uh, way, but please keep in mind that that way something undesired when it uh, happen and ultimately it has uh, threat to the target then that is the, the uh, that one will be talked about accident the end, end state of the um, money hazard actuation. And then <coughs> this these threats can be minimized by another kind of risk control system which is known as mitigated risk control system here in this case we have given emergency arrangement only and then this will lead to people, property, environment and organization. Organization means the reputation of the organization. From this uh, ontology, so accident path can be created. For example, pressurized tank, tank rupture, explosion, fire. This is one path, this is another path. Here power supply related one path electrocution, another path related to fatal burn injury something like this. So, maybe we have missed some of the things initiating mechanism in between, you can add all those things if you find something like this. Then <coughs> gases, valve control and control system failure, breathing problem, this gases may lead to ultimately fire, fatal and injury etcetera. So, in this manner we created the ontology uh, accident path 5, 6, 7, 8, now 9, operator, operator does not open switch, switch is closed for longer time, current supplied to motor for longer time then pump overrun, pump overrun leads to over pressure, over pressure leads to tank rupture, tank rupture leads to injury property damage. Okay. So, you see what is happening that here the tank rupture is the accident and an a property and this is the consequence. Okay. But the starting point is operator fails to do all those things once the overpressure condition has taken place and it leads to injury. Okay. Now, <coughs> for the same thing we have uh, we have developed the preliminary hazard list, the pumping system having this many components, storage system having this many components, for every, every uh, component the hazard, hazard effects and means basically the hazard uh, initiative mechanism target and threat and these are the hazard elements. So, these things we have written and we have found out several several basically uh, hazard this list pump over ram, gas leakage, malfunctioning. So, like this many things we have created here. So, So, how many? I think it is basically so many you just see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 we have created here. Achha. Now, 
if you see the preliminary hazard analysis for this 12, then uh, IMRI and some recommended actions given and FMRI is created. So, <clears throat> it is not regularly maintained. So, that is why the effect is this, but what if you regularly maintain if it will be reduced to this. Okay. So, this is basically the application what I am showing. So, it is a it is a kind of revisit and similar things we have seen earlier also. So, um, please go through and uh, and develop your own case for um, PHA, PHL uh, and other techniques. Then HAZOP, HAZOP for HAZOP purpose. So, <coughs> you have to find out the study note, we have considered two study note. The first study note is the where from, from pump to pressure that, that is the base, there is a pipe and there is pump and rest of the things are like this. So, here one study note is taken. So, this is the first one and the second one is this. So, one and two, two different study note we have taken. You may take some other things, but we have taken these two because we thought that these two is able to tell you most of the deviations. Okay. But there are switch and other wire, those deviations um, also required to be found out. And in that case, you will basically may if you take another one in wire, then if wire is not having current, then there may be problem of other things that also can be taken care of. Suppose you just think of this place <coughs> where pump is, uh, that from the pump that through this pipe. Uh, this this particular tank is filled by gas. Okay. So, here flow will be important and time will be another important one. Suppose flow, no flow, more flow, less flow other than flow. <coughs> Suppose no flow, gas inlet band closed, plug in pipe, pipe ruptured, more flow, pump performance enhanced due to high voltage. Achha, less flow, gas inlet bulb partially closed, partially plug or leak in pipe, other than flow supply of wrong um, wrong materials basically in the sense it instead of gas may be air is supplied. Okay. So, then what will the what will be the effect, what will be the accents and what is the status open closed, open closed hypothetically we have written. Now, pre, uh, this tank I think the important parameter is pressure and its guide word high means high pressure and low low pressure. High pressure what are the causes because of pump overrun. If high pressure condition there is a tank rupture will take place. So, inspection and control inspection of control system and valve that is what is the recommendation it is already there. So, low pressure malfunctioning of gas inlet valve, gas inlet valve partially closed, gas cannot be pressurized to intended level given the uh, reset time. So, um, gas inlet valve must be checked uh, regularly or something like this. So, it is open. Okay. So, what we have given then? We have given you that uh, some it is basically revisit of the previous all the techniques so far you have learnt and then with reference to pressure tech example, I am creating some um, insights into the uh, hazard identification issues and then with reference to this example, we are showing that how it can be done and how it can you can also document the things. Then FMEA, you see that FMEA again we says that you have to go to the server component level switch, pump, timer. Now, when you talk about switch, switch failure modes may be it is basically open all the time, partially open all the time, it is closed all the time, partially closed, fails to start uh, this, this four. And then what will happen we have written. Similarly, pump fails to start, operates too long, operated degraded speed, fail up while 
fails of while are running, timer worn out, fails to reset, stop prematurely, start prematurely, timer logic fails. So, so many things are there. And then why it is open? You have to, we have written some of the causes. So, you can add to these causes, you can modify the causes also, absolutely no problem. But please remember that these are the, these causes you have to, the causes you have to identify. Then what will happen if this open the effect part also, then important part, another important part is the finding of the probability, severity and detectability. We have used the 10 point scale what we have given to you earlier, the 10 point scale for probability, severity and detectability and then you calculate the RPN and once you create the RPN, the depending on the RPN value you may know you may go for some kind of action or you may think that this is absolutely ok. So, maintain the status quo. So, um, sometimes we are saying the regular inspection some of the things are already there, some of the things may not be there, but ultimately our aim here is just see we are basically saying suppose these are not done properly. So, that means even in with regular maintenance, regular maintenance, inspection and all those things if adequately it is done, so there is a chance of reduction of P, S and D. What we have assumed because this is a hypothetical example, what we have assumed? We have assumed that this action the risk control system basically, these risk control systems they are not adequately uh, performing. It is inspection maintenance everything is there, but they may they, there may be loopholes. So, then you, you uh, remember all those things to the uh, level possible, so that the effect will be more. And then what will happen? The PSD either P or S or uh, your D or all in combination okay, that will that will be reduced. For example, here P cannot be reduced, but uh, your S and D is reduced. So, ultimately this is reduced. So, actually this P S D gives you very interesting idea that where the action will be taken, what design and redesign option can be adopted, so that ultimately the RPN can be minimized. Okay. So, this is what failure mode and effect analysis application. Then storage system similarly for the storage system pressure gauge, discharge valve so many that failure modes the causes and ultimately the concept, the effects the RPN action. So, this is your the table you have to prepare similar table. Okay. What will happen then when you have so many when you have so many failure modes and also you have computed their RPN, you develop Pareto chart, Pareto chart. Okay. So, this Pareto chart will talks about it is basically vital few and trivial many vital few and trivial many. The purpose is to find out the vital few and trivial many may be these are the these are the vital few or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, okay. Okay, in between something we could not write also. Suppose okay, these are the vital few and these are the others are trivial many you concentrate uh, concentrate on vital few. Okay, this is Pareto chart. This is also known as 80-20 rule. What is 80-20 rule? 80 percent of the problems are caused by 25 percent of the or 25 percent uh, like here 80 percent of the risk associated with 25, 20 percent of the failure modes or other way uh, actually its origin I think I have told you other way it is basically in the 18th century Alfred de Pareto, Pareto observed very interesting phenomena 
the phenomena is this 80 percent of 80 percent of world wealth world wealth W E A L T H all wealth was consumed by consumed by twenty percent of world population in eighteenth century. This is in the eighteenth century. It, I think so, eighteenth century. Okay. But at the time where to when he was a, he was alive that time he observed this phenomena and then this phenomena from after that in terms of chart we use and it has a lot of application and you do okay so this is your risk priority number and then risk priority number is used to find out the vital few value or modes what what we have discussed we have discussed that with reference to pressure tank example how you how do you conduct conduct hazard identification okay now what is the purpose purpose is that you can adopt you can adopt the same for your system ok and please understand in order to do all those things you require to have design knowledge, system knowledge including design knowledge hazard knowledge and if you have previous lessons learned lessons learned and Please remember that it will not be an individual work, all those things will be team work. Team should be composed of experts from different, different discipline. Okay. So, <clears throat> we, we have discussed system breakdown structure. it is important we have discussed hazard triangle very important we have discussed accident path or safety ontology that is what the terminology we have used safety ontology leading to accident paths very important then phl pha Hajop, FMEA. Okay. So, there are some other techniques like your FMECA, failure mode effect and criticality analysis, fault tree analysis, event tree analysis, hierarchical task analysis, petrinate, many others. Okay. So, thank you very much. Hope that you all will un you will score. First of all, you will understand it. The next the hazard identification techniques, practice it, and also face difficulties. And you can write in the forum. We will try our best to answer to your questions. Thanks a lot. See you again.